He took out student loans and was accepted at one of the nation's most prestigious law schools, Harvard. The political environment on the law school campus in the late 80s and early 90s was, was borderline toxic. No more racism. No more racism. No more sexism. Harvard Law School was a very divided institution. There's a lot of mutual animosity surrounding affirmative action. It's racially a very charged time. Women of color in permanent positions. People just did a lot of talking and a lot of fighting. Um, by the end, it's like one big unhappy family. Its first black member. Barack Obama found himself in the midst of the protests. At one point, championing the cause of a black faculty member, Professor Derek Bell. And I remember him sauntering up to the front and not giving us a lecture, but engaging us in a conversation. He was a very public figure on campus. And speaking the truth. Everyone knew who he was. He's a very well-respected leader, probably the most well-respected student on campus simply by his good looks and easy charm. <laughs> In the superheated racial disputes, Obama had become the middleman, a conciliator. He's always been very adept at walking this fine line between two dramatically different worlds, whether it be black and white, liberal and conservative. Uh, he's just extremely adroit at walking that tightrope. He was raised in a white family. He learned early on, I think, to move back and forth between different communities of people. It was national news. Though I'm honored, and I think people can say that my election symbolizes some progress, at least in, within the small confines of the legal community, I think it's real important to keep the focus on uh, the, the broader world out there and, and see that uh, uh, for a lot of kids, uh, the doors that have been opened to me aren't open to them.